And that goes into our next question, where we say, is it good to take advice from others on your latest show? And I'm glad you did say that, Keisha, because that's something that I need, well, I ain't going to say that's just something I need to hear, but that's something I need to take into consideration. I don't um, look for advice from my relationship, like from friends or family, nobody, but I do put people in my business a lot. Instagram. Yeah, Instagram. Definitely. Um, why I do that? Everybody it's like, everybody it's, but, I, but I don't do that with every, I don't get on there and say, oh, I can't pay my rent this month. I don't do that though. <laughs> so, so what it is is, I think when I get on Instagram and I think about men, it's definitely to embarrass them. It's to put you out there. I'm doing it to ridicule you. I think so. publicly. And you know, it ain't always trying to you. tell my business. No, I'm not trying to tell my business. You ain't business. telling your business. Yeah, I'm telling his business. I know, yeah, that. I know that. my shit. Yeah, I'm I'm I know for a fact that's what Taylor does. Yes. I know for a fact. Bitch gonna shame you. She's going to make sure everybody know what you didn't do at home or what you didn't handle, what you couldn't pay. Or what, Taylor, that, I like that's that, how you answer that. Yes, that's definitely Taylor. I'm breaking on it because I ain't going to lie. Why do that? Like like they say, why bash them if you're going to go back to them? Now, nah, that's that stupid bitch look like. No, like, bitch, you just went all that shit. I know, but half the right time, I be on there, I be over-exaggerating a little bit. And being dramatic because that's who I am. I take everything I do like right. So if I go back to him, y'all, he was pretty much probably was a good person for the time. <laughs> <laughs> okay, the question was, do you take advice on your relationship from, like, from other people? Um, no, to be honest, I think you shouldn't even really talk to him about it because I had to kind of learn it on some shit because guess what? At the end of the day, if you do tell them, okay, this happened or some bad shit happened, and then they see that you end up back cool, y'all be talking and shit good. They be looking at you kind of crazy. They be like, girl, where you remember and lose it, boo. And this and then, and they be like trying to throw the shit in your face sometimes. The shit kind of backfire. So I don't think you should take advice from others because at the end of the day, they not there to see everything. And most of the time, when you is talking to your home girl, you, you venting, you going yeah, off yeah, about something you mad yeah, about. Yeah. You ain't never really venting to your home girl about, oh, we just shit going so good, you know? You know? So I think no, you shouldn't because at the end of the day, when you put people in your mix, that shit never work out right. No. Mm -hmm. Well, I personally think you shouldn't take advice. You could take heed to what your friend tell you, but never, you know, go off your own instincts and do what you want to do with your own relationship. Because at the end of the day, you don't know who gotta be in that position. Mm -hmm. Another thing I wanted to say was. I don't tell my business to nobody because one thing I learned in my years on this earth is when you forget, they don't. Right. Yes. Them, them family members and people going to always remember what you told them. And they not going to like him even when you like him again. Mm -hmm. I learned that they going to hate his guts and you going to be in love. They're going to have that feeling for him that you have. And you're going to be trying to figure yeah. out why my mama don't him. like him. Yeah. Like he's not that, but that's because the seed you put in her head. Mm -hmm. So if you feel like you won't get over it, don't, you know what I'm saying? Keep your business to yourself. And, I, and just like what Krista said, man, those friends, oh, they gonna remember every little thing you said bad about that nigga. And when bad they come, cause bitch, you the one who said he smelled with a right. cold. Right. I'm that friend though. I'm that motherfucking friend. Like, I tell you shit on a regular basis. No, like, I tell people stuff on a regular basis. Like, I just say it regular. But if I get mad, best believe, bitch, I'm gonna throw it in your face so you catch that bitch. Like, I might just say it like, well, bitch, you the one who said it was out here fucking niggas, but right. bitch, if I'm mad, bitch, your <laughs> niggas fucking niggas, and I don't give a fuck. But it is true about putting people in your business, because I'm the type of person that, I don't put nobody in my business, but I have a friend call me and put me in her relationship business, and I went to the point where I didn't went to her boyfriend's house and really cut the fuck up over there. Like, bitch, yeah, act up the way you was acting when I was not here. Like, do the same shit you was doing when I was in here, basically putting myself in a relationship or whatever, putting myself in the middle of their problems. And, you know, this part, me knowing in the back of my head the whole time, because I told her, like, you know, I know you're going to end up back with this person or whatever, but I did this just to prove that he'll put this nigga, yada, yada, just in the three. But it's not right, though, at the end of the day, because I ain't, I mean, me and him was cool at first, and that nigga fucked me now. Yeah, because look what you did. Yeah, because I went over there, no lie, it would be fuck me too, because I went over there with the 
complete shits. Like, but that's because I feel bad for my friend. My friend called me crying or whatever, and it's like my anger gets so, like, I get so mad, get so bored up, feeling like, you know, a dude not supposed to treat a female like this or whatever. And that just, like I said, putting people in your business. And I drive my ass to his house, like, yeah, bitch, we gonna fight. Like, I'm about to call my brothers to fight you, bitch. You wanna disrespect somebody? We about to show you disrespect somebody. But it's just not right. It's like because you end up back with this person. And it's just awkwardness. I don't care what nobody say. It's just yeah. silent and awkwardness. Like, like it's not the he same. He don't like you. Mm -mm, he don't. Mm -mm. Well, I can definitely say, like, me and Crystal, we've been friends for a long time now. And when you know your friend, you kind of know what not to do and what not to say. Like, we talk about personal stuff with us, but if I already know, oh, she, if I already know she had an encounter with this person, and she may be back talking to this person again, I'm not going to bring it up. Because mm -mm. she know that already. That's and she's not... smart as a bitch. She give me game. Like, you just, like we, we both got game, first of all. So we both can relate. So ain't no need of me reiterating something to you that you already know. You got game. So obviously, uh, her saying that the same thing to me, like, we know what we be doing. So if we go back to this person, we talk to this person, we very aware. We don't need yeah. nobody to bring it up. But we still be there, huh? We'll right. still listen all day, right. give, you know, bust right. each other up, whatever, make each other feel better, however, you know what I'm saying? But we never try to down talk each other and say, ooh, friend, you stupid, or none of that. We never do none of that. That's going to mess up a friend. 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 Oh, well, it's okay. No, bitch, it's not okay. You stupid. You being stupid. Like, why you Why you want to be stupid? Then why you want to tell me and bring me into your stupid shit, right? Like, I mean, well. Why call me? We don't call like, somebody. We will like, make it a well a situation we're going on. We'll be like, oh, oh, fuck no. That's some fuck shit or something like that. Yeah, like, that's we going to leave it at that. We ain't going to, oh, friend, bitch, you's a stupid. If you talk to him, I ain't going to talk to you. I don't know. See, not that. Two years and then got back together, 
and did a little bit, but it just wasn't there no more. So I don't really, I don't, I don't know. It just depends on y'all feelings for each other. If they outweigh the problems, and it depends on their pride. Pride a motherfucker. Mm. Pride. Woo! That's all right. Baby, pride didn't destroy pride. more oh. relationships than cheating ever will. And I know that because my pride, baby, I can think about you 24-7. I would dial that number and I press send, baby. So I know what you're saying. <laughs> no, I'm saying like if the love dealt with that person, but you just can't be with but them. But you can't be with them. Yeah, certain circumstances. Yeah, certain circumstances other yeah, like they have people love each other. Y'all gonna end up back together. Y'all eventually it's gonna come back. Y'all right. supposed to be together. Y'all gonna end up back together. But like, I know exactly what you're I saying. I do feel like you can come back from a bad, like the same relationship. It can be bad and it can come back and work out and be healthy. Like because it have been too many count cases where people have been married for fifty years, twenty years, thirty years. And they done went through hell and back hell. The wife done cheated, the husband done cheated, somebody done cheated, and these people are happy now. Like, so it's not the case of, oh, once you cheat, we can never be together again in no situation like okay, that. So we're now getting close to the end of Raw Talk. Before we go, I know everyone's been wondering where have everyone been. We all been busy doing things um, as far as our career and life itself. So we're gonna start off with our guest, Keisha Snowden. She's a hairstylist. Yes, I'm Keisha. Uh, most people know me as. <laughs> I say, I, I say, 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 I by the way, Keisha was my fashion pick on the first episode. Keisha, can you tell us what you're wearing? Maybe do us a spin around one, two. Get up, girl! <laughs>
get it like running, me just running. Yeah, I, I I like everything. Like I really, really like this video. Not to me, not only did I like it, like my fucking kids like it. They watch your YouTube your YouTube channel all fucking day and I just be like I had a FaceTime one day like bitch I'm outside and look what and look who on TV. Look who on TV, like be on I, every T V in the house. I thought you were gonna drop me thirty eight, but I mean it but it was me. No. <laughs> <laughs> So I definitely I like I really like this video. Thank you. And I'm proud of you and I feel like that was a big jump. Like you could say at first you was doing this on some give back shit mm -hmm. and now you really like what you doing. Yeah. And do. you doing it because you wanna do it, not to be petty. Yeah. So I definitely see the difference in you. Like I said, I'm proud of you and I feel like it's good. And I do know Taylor from when she was a little girl, so I really feel like I could see it. Mm -hmm. I understood what she was trying to say. Mm -hmm. Well, I personally haven't seen the video yet, but from hearing everybody talk about it and stuff like that, and I have been seeing clips on Instagram and stuff, so I'm going to, definitely going to check it out. And me knowing Taylor too, I'm quite sure it's oh, very, very interesting. Like, <laughs> yeah, I'm quite sure it's very, very interesting because I always have to explain Taylor to people. Like, yes. oh my God, so you crazy. Too? That I always have to explain her to people. Like, so I might be able to explain Crystal too, kind of. <laughs> like, they so sweet, they so cool. Probably the nicest people you'll ever meet in your life, but they just have their points. Like, Taylor is fucking crazy. She will show your ass and Crystal's just gonna tell you what the fuck on her mind. Like, but why the first time I met Crystal was the first show and when she opened her mouth, I was Don't just nobody like, expect Crystal to talk like that. <laughs> I was, if y'all go back to the first episode, I literally was like this the whole time. <laughs> Like yeah. my, everybody tell me from the first show, like your facial expressions, you you was like, what the fuck? I really was like the whole time. I didn't expect the stuff that was coming out of her mouth, but you know now I'm aware. But yeah, yeah I def you definitely had that. And then no before reason. we um close this out, I definitely want to give a shout out to like Keisha. I could cry right now because. Like where we started, when Ooh, she like, started. We together, everything. I was talking about the hair. Oh, you said. <laughs> <laughs> like, what are you doing with hair? I thought you were talking about the hair. We were talking about hair. We keep it at all. I definitely. <laughs> I just want to like give her a shout out and like really up like just congratulate her because Thank we you. was there. When she was yes. giving a $50 so in yes, and right. they was on fleek still. They right. were, you know, that's where the little middle part was. Well, we were looking for the hand clothes. Yeah, she was making clothes. Okay, okay. making clothes by hand. I'm talking about she was really determined. And, like, you got to give her her promise and respect because it's been so many times where people will start something and don't complete it or just give up or just take a whole nother different route, you know, and she kept the faith and the, you kept pushing and now she's doing color, from right, teaching classes, teaching classes, baby, school is in session, y'all definitely go click the link in her bio, for real, I, oh, y'all, I always talk about Keisha, like I tell Ashley, like, she did this, she did that, I'm always in her DM faithfully, <laughs> and under her pictures, like, when she do some hair, I be like, ooh, I like that. That's dope. I'm always giving her credit. Like, but Keisha, baby, got some rules. It might not be a lot. Y'all, let me just put that on there. Let me just put that on there. I got those rules because I have terrible, terrible, I understand. terrible hairs talking about. You didn't let me finish. You didn't let me finish. Keisha have a lot of rules, and I'm a last-minute type of person, so I would never be able to so put my so hair on. So it's so hard to fuck with me if you a last-minute type of person. Yeah, I I need to know what I'm doing two days before. Like, I need to Bruh. know. If it's Friday, like, if I got to do have Friday, I need to know what I got to do that Wednesday. Like, See, Keisha will be Thursday, mad at me. Like, 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 like we will fall out because I'm very bad at that. I have to discipline myself before I book with Keisha. <laughs> but I, I have told her, what I'm saying, I told her that, like, bitch, you got too many rules that I just can't abide by them right now. I, 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 but I understand I, because rules are set in place so stuff can flow. But I did tell but you. I swear, but I swear. I didn't want to come to you. Know, but like, I'm just saying, I just. I'm, most I, of those rules. My mind, I tell everybody. Most of those rules I do not like go. I just would prefer for the people not to do it. But the only rules that I really, really go on is time and your natural hair. Like how you come with your natural hair and the time you come. Like mm -hmm. I can't stand people being late and I cannot stand people coming there with matted hair. Like mm -hmm. I can't help you. I don't have the time to help you. Like so that's one of the only things that I ever trip about as far as appointments. Anything that other, you can come with weed wet, that's on you and your body, you gonna get weed wet, weed you put in your head, right. not my problem. I mean, yeah. I agree, I mean, a lot of people feel like you should have a lot of rules, but I mean, I've been going to her, I mean, I don't even... Bitch, that's because you win! Like, if you me just read the 
you know, website, y'all don't know lit real shit, kids. You don't know how many times I went to your website and was like, fuck. Me too. <laughs> I'm just saying, well, I'm like, like oh, literally, God, I really can't. You might not abide by those rules, but me <laughs> never being a client, I'm just like, oh, shit. Okay, I'm about to tell you. I'm just saying, y'all got a trip. Okay. Y'all have to pay that in y'all on time. But y'all got to say, y'all actually will tell you, I will literally be like, I mean, I'm not about to fuck with Keisha. Like, I got to be on my shit. But y'all think I got to say, I do feel like you work it, but when I do come to you, I'm going to on schedule with everything. She don't have no kids. She go to work. She come home. She got plan weeks ahead of time. Yeah. Me? Bitch, I don't know if I'm going to have my fucking six when I wake up in the morning. The long as I have appointments. So, like, but anyway, check out us on the next episode of Raw Talk. We going to close out for the night. Bye. Bye. Walk a mile in my shoes. What? Who knew? The bitch pretty, but she crazy. Huh? Blues you. Why, why, why? Waste my time, that's a bet, nigga. Bye, bye.